Hi everybody, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. And in this video, I'm gonna take a quick look at how to troubleshoot your basic audio and video settings, your mic, your webcam, and your speakers for a Microsoft Teams class meeting. Now, before I even launch into a meeting, one quick bit of advice. The best thing that you can do before joining a Teams meeting is make sure that you have a good headset with a microphone built in like the one that I'm using in this video. Now, the reason for that is that uh, you're going to get some better uh, audio yourself through the headset speakers. You're not going to hear all the distractions that you have in the background going on. Also, the mic that you use in a headset, like this mic right here, is a unidirectional mic. It's only going to pick up the sound from straight in front of it, whereas the mic that's built into your laptop tends to be an omnidirectional mic. It picks up the entire room, so it's going to pick up uh, any kids in the background, cars that are just outside the window or out, uh, ongoing construction around you, barking dogs, things like that. Uh, the mic is going to pick all of that up. Also, if you're not using a, uh, a headset mic, you're using the mic that's built in and the speakers that are built into your laptop, well, that mic is going to pick up the sound coming out of those speakers. So it's going to create some feedback, which is going to be very annoying for both you and the, your classmates and your instructor. So it's best to get yourself a nice headset mic like this one for participating in your classes. Now, let's start up a quick Microsoft Teams meeting here. I'm going to just click on the join and uh, the meet now here for this session. And I'm going to call this a test meeting. And I will meet now. And I'm going to be the only one in this meeting. Now, you can see right away that I am having uh, a video problem. I've got my webcam turned on and my audio is turned on. So I'm just going to reach over here. I'm going to open up the webcam on my laptop because I have two, lap, uh, two webcams available. And I'm going to show you where to find the basic troubleshooting on this. So you want to hover your mouse over this bar here in the middle. And you'll see the three dots for more actions in the middle. If I click on that, I can find my show device settings. And you can see right here, I can uh, change my uh, my mic and my speakers from my headset to the PC mic and speakers. I want to leave it at the headset. Uh, I can also change my uh, individual speakers and mic down here I can, uh, if I want. Uh, I'm just going to leave those as the default. I can see that I have a good feed coming in here for my mic. So I can actually test those uh, during a meeting. If you're not, if nobody is hearing you and you are not on mute, then you can change your mic in here. You can check your feed setting um, and you can switch those up for the other devices that you have installed. I can also change my webcam here. So I can use the integrated webcam that is built in. Now you should be seeing the side of my uh, side of my head. So you're seeing that there, that is working. Uh, it wasn't working before because uh, I was already using the webcam that I have here on top of my second monitor. Uh, so Teams wouldn't pick that up. So to troubleshoot that, I go here, I can pick a different webcam. So if I come back here, it's not going to pick that up, but you're still seeing my smiling face down in the corner with the webcam that I have sitting on top of my monitor. Now, one other problem that you are likely to run into during a Teams meeting, uh, if you have a lot of students in class with you and uh, it's slow, they're all using the webcam and it's slowing down your internet connection. Well, you might not be able to force all of them to turn their cameras off, but you can actually turn all the cameras off yourself, all the incoming audio, uh, video feed, and just set it to little profile circles like this or the little initials if they don't have a picture set up. And the easy way to do that is just once again, click on these three dots here for more actions. And you'll see an option here for turn off the incoming video. So you click on that, it shuts down the video feed from all of your classmates and your instructor. It's not going to shut down the incoming video if your instructor is presenting their screen or presenting a presentation, but it will shut down everyone's webcam and will save you some bandwidth on your end.